What's up guys, this is my walkthrough for the White Bear Pirates Fortnite. It's a free to play team. Got Garp, the Raid Boss Bar, which I know can be hard to get for some people, but she can be replaced, she's not too important. Gold Pound Usopp, very important. Kobe, very important. And Bon Clay, not as important, but very helpful. So, the idea of this team is using Strong or Shanks, boost our attack, use Garp, boost our HP. It's very helpful to do it with Garp and Shanks as opposed to using two Shanks or two Garp um, because there can be a couple of stages where you're going to have to take a bit of damage and there's a lot of stages where a double Garp team isn't going to do quite enough damage. So I think this is the optimum setup for this Fortnite. You can store as much as you like. You don't have to spend ages stalling. Uh, you'll see I missed quite a few opportunities to stall throughout this island. I, I just like to stall naturally. I'm not taking too many hits. If you do take hits, make sure the hits you take are from pigs or from turtles or from penguins, you know. Um, don't take any of the hits from the giants or from the general fodder and try your best to take as few hits when we get to the later stages with Kuriyo and Rakuyo and also don't forget, not only Fossa but Fatch can appear on this island. He actually helps you He's not too hard to kill and he boosts your chance of getting Psy Orbs, which if you don't have Stronghold Shanks, is going to be a big plus coming up to the final fight. Um, and we'll talk more about the final fight when we get there. But basically here, just stall naturally. If you need to take hits, you know, this team has got good HP. The recovery is not too bad, so pick up food orbs whenever you can. The only specials that matter before the final fight are Gold Pound Usopp. Nobody else matters. You're not going to be using anybody else's special except maybe if you're in a desperate situation, you could use like Shanks or someone like that. But as you can see, this this team, the only cooldowns I've got, the only special levels I've got are on Gold Pound Usopp. And I think one special level on Garp. So really not a lot there. Anyway, this is what you use Gold Pound Usopp for. Use this on Kuriel. And then he becomes easy. I think he hits for around 7k and that's below 50%. He's gonna hit harder below 20. Just don't take a hit unless you absolutely have to. Gold Pound Usopp. You're not gonna be able to use Gold Pound Usopp on Rakuyo for 10 turns anyway. He's got debuff protection on, so just use it here. With the with the stalling, obviously. Garp, Bonclay, and Kobe here all reduce damage. And when they say reduce, they mean reduced even with an orb on him. Garp only does around 100 damage. So, best not to make a team full of brawlers. If at all possible, no brawlers. Um, but yeah, Shanks is still your heavy hitter, so it's all okay. Fossa. Attack him, and I think you have to get him to 50% or below 50% on the first attack. And the reason I say that is because if you don't use Gold Pound Usopp on this stage and use it on Kuriel, you can't stall here, and you're going to get your specials locked for two turns. You're going to want those back for the final fight because Rakuyo likes to lock your guest captain or your friend captain, and he will repeatedly lock your friend captain for two turns every two turns so it's in no way ideal if you have anti-lock sockets that great on this team i have no sockets at all so going in raw pretty much and as you can see no orbs here if i had garp ready i'd just use garp on clay and i'd be good to go but i missed a lot of stalling on purpose um as you can see i, <laughs> I didn't use shanks there and I 100% should have because he can't be used now. I have no anti lock sockets, so he can't be used. He's gone for the rest of the fight, and my damage is significantly lower. I didn't really know what to do here when this first happened. I felt like an idiot. 
but it, it had no effect. I was still able to beat it. Bear in mind, I do have the Thousand Sunny here, which gives me a little bit more damage. Um, it just gives you that 50k special, which is really nice, but it's not needed. You can do this with the Guy and Mary. Um, my gold pound Usopp's back. It's completely useless at this point. You'd have to stall out for so long just to be able to use him on Rakuya, so I wouldn't bother. I'm about 20k health, I can take two of those hits and I'm still okay. And here we go, here's the burst. We use Boa, we use Garp, we use Bon Clay, we use Kobe, we use Thousand Sunny, and then we kill Rakuya. It is very straightforward if you have these characters. If you have any rare recruits, you can put them in here. Personally, the team I've been running it with has been Double Strong or Shanks, which doesn't have enough health, and occasionally I do make a mistake and die, but much quicker much much quicker so if you do have a team that can clear it much faster you can do that you can use Sabo as well you can make a freedom team um, I tried it earlier with double Sabo, Boa um, and a couple of other units like Love Frankie it's easy it's a really straightforward Fortnite because of the side restriction they couldn't put too many curveballs in so yeah that was this Fortnite it's easy go do it have fun see ya